As promised, Apple has pushed out the iOS 11 public beta here at the end of June. It is June 26, 2017. iOS 11 public beta 1 coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iOS 11 public beta. Now I did the developer edition prior to this video and you've seen that on the channel when it first released but now it is available to you for free. Everyone can go ahead and try out iOS 11 right now. Now of course it's still buggy here but let's go into settings here. I am going to be showing this on the iPhone 6 and you can see that I am currently on 10.3.3 here for my iPhone 6. But if I go into software update, 1.89 gigabytes for this download. I'm gonna go back to about and show you the storage to see if we do increase in some storage here. So 5.73 gigabytes, let's see if we go down or up. So I'm gonna hit software update and we're gonna talk about the new features that come with this iOS 11 public beta. All right guys, so I am now in the public beta of iOS 11 and you can see right here, the new control center should be present. You can see already pretty buggy here, but you can go ahead and add all kinds of things here to your iPhone on the public beta. We have low power mode, thank you Apple. We have Apple TV here. We do have Siri, right? I think that's Siri or is that voice memos? That's probably voice memos. So yeah, voice memos right there. We do have the new Siri front face. You can see right there a little bit different as well. And uh, the new app store. So the new app store is gonna bring new icons at the bottom as well as a cleaner looking UI. So we have updates here. You can see down here, we do have the today tab, the games, the apps, the updates. Now, if you've been watching the channel, you would have seen all these features already, but I do want to mention for those of you who haven't seen lately that iOS 11 is going with more of a darker font face when it comes to some of the calendar things like an iCal right here, you can see July as well as August is darker. And you're going to see that across the board here, even in the phone dialer app. Now, if we go into the weather application, you can see that the fonts are now a little bit easier to read down here. Some people aren't gonna like this because it made it smaller up here and you could see less, but hey, it's, it's an update nonetheless. So we do have to point it out here. So 3D touch, let's see how that's working. Actually, this is an iPhone 6. I just, <laughs> I just said 3D touch. We're talking about iPhone 6 here. Anyway, we'll check that out on another 3D touch iPhone later. But here's one of the newest features here live on camera. This is the files. So files comes to your iPhone as well as your iPad. And I think the iPad actually got a better update when it comes to the file setup. But overall, you do get a file system here in iPhone now, which has been on Android forever, but it's nice to see you can color code it and it's gonna work really well with your Mac computer if you do use a Macintosh device. So let's take a quick look at this performance and you can see it's okay so far. It's looking a little bit better than the developer edition. So I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing. Now some applications aren't gonna work. Developers of the applications in the app store themselves are going to have to go ahead and update that. But you can see the search bar is now working here on this guy right here. So pretty nice to see that that's working in YouTube. That was an issue prior in the developer editions. Now the calculator is all new here on iOS 11, the public beta. And the battery life is probably Probably gonna dip a little bit as well but you can see you do get a new battery icon as well it's a little bit different looks a little bit more like what you find on the Mac the iTunes store icon has been updated as well but you can still not move applications wherever you want now checking the multitasking this is also a little bit different a little bit cleaner if you ask me but overall iOS 11 public beta seems to be working quite well here right out the gate. So which phones is this gonna be supported on? So if you got yourself an iPhone 5S and above, it's gonna be supported on all those iPhones and above. So 5S and above, iPod Touch 6, you're gonna need an iPad fifth generation and higher to download this iOS 11 beta edition. And I think you're also going to not be able to download this on any 32-bit devices. So iPhone 5, 5C, we're sorry, you're not getting iOS 11 right now anyway. So anyway, that's pretty much it here. I'm going to go ahead and check that storage because I told you I would in the beginning of this video. So going to about, you can see I do have 6.33 gigabytes, iOS 11 15a 304J. So the J at the end signifying this is not an official release. We did gain some storage. So the download size file, depending on your iPhone, is going to be over a gig. So put this on the side, let it update. It's going to take 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes to download. And uh, anyway, what do you guys want to see going forward on the public beta? I have covered the developer editions, but this is a little bit more of a stable release as it's released to the world. But still, don't download this without doing a backup. I highly recommend 
you do that. Have you already downloaded iOS 11? What do you look forward to see? Comment that down below. Do you want to see a battery test on iPhone 6, iOS 11, public beta? And we'll be covering more going forward here. And I just want to let you know that you can now get this. Anyway, Nick here helping you to master your technology. If you want to know how to install this, please go ahead and check the link down below. I made a video earlier today. Have a great day wherever you are. Be sure to be well and peace.